So, I'm Evil Squeegee, and today I'm here to talk about the basics of number crunching and Path of Exile. As a forward before we get into things, it is worth noting I have no formal education in mathematics of any kind whatsoever, and therefore my syntax and my numbers might look a little funky, but I get there in the end. These, this is how I've got the results I've gotten, so I can verify this works for me. Now, that being said, there are a few basic things you need to know before you start getting into the exact formulas that are used by a lot of game mechanics. If you're looking for more stuff along the lines of my mana video, then uh, you can expect to see more of that in the near future. But just to get ready for that, we're going to start talking about the basics of how Path of Exile handles numbers to begin with, so that you can understand those procedures when we get into the more complica complicated stuff like calculating armor, evasion, and so forth. What I'm talking about here is percentiles and more versus increased modifiers. Now what I'm saying about percentiles, the easiest way to calculate a percentile is to multiply by a decimal place. So if you're looking for 28% of a number, you multiply that number by 0.28. However, if what you're looking at is a is uh, is the base number plus another 28, that base number is obviously its number times 1, which is 100%. So you would take 100% plus 28% which equals 128%, and you find 128% of a number by multiplying the number by 1.28. Just so that we have a secondary example that clarifies this point, if you have a 248% increase, you're adding 248% to the base number, which is 100% of itself, which results in 348, and so you would multiply the number 300, uh, no, don't multiply it 300 times, multiply it by 3.48. That being said, once you understand how to do that, the next step is to understand how to total up and the process the game will use to determine your stats, including all of your passives and gear and all that juicy bits. So the first step is to find your base number. Your base number is, for example, the armor as it's listed on your item. So, let's say that you have an ar a piece of armor that gives 5, a piece of armor that gives 10, and a piece of armor that gives 10. That's 10, 10, and 5. Your base armor is going to be 25 in that case. Do not count for any increases whatsoever. The base number is as listed while naked with nothing else taken into consideration. Once you have your base number, the next step is to add up all of the various increased multipliers. You will notice that the bonuses you can pick up from the passive tree and from gear and from even some gems will say percentile increased damage or percentile more damage. These are two different categories and you need to treat them separately. That's what we're talking about here today. So you're going to look for just the modifiers that are labeled increased. You're going to add them all together. So if you have 10% increased and 8% increased from another different source, you have a total of 18% increase. Once you're done, you're going to use a percentile math system that I just explained to find the total increased results. You can take your base number, and you're going to multiply it by the total increase. After that, and only after you've done that, do you take more modifiers into account, and more are going to multiply on top of what you've already just done. As an example, let's take armor. Uh, ignoring the fact that this spec is absolutely terrible, it's perfect for... Uh, the example that I'm about to give. You've got, this is 15% increased armor, this is 10% increased armor, and this is 18% increased armor. That cluster is just at the start of the Marauder Tree. Now if we climbed up and then we picked up 8, 8, 8, and 20 from this cluster, and then we moved down here and we also got 10, 10, and 10. Let's also assume, for the purpose of this example, that you have the Determination Aura, and it's going to be giving 41% more armor once we're all said and done. So, the first step we're going to do is we're going to add up all of those increased numbers. We are assuming, for the purposes of this example, that you have 1,000 base armor. You add up all those, and you get 117% increased armor from your passive tree. This means that we're going to be multiplying by 2.17, because we have the base of 1,000 armor included. And that's going to give us 2,170 armor. And then after that, we're going to apply the multiplier from the determination, because it's labeled as more and happens last. And that's going to give us our total result of 3,059 armor. Now, how much damage reduction that's going to be giving you is something you'll have to pick up the character sheet. I'm looking into being able to determine 
uh, ahead of time what your reduction is going to be. In order to do that, I'm going to need to know what kind of damage monsters are dealing at any given level because it's a comparative stat. That, however, is for another day. Right now, I'm going to give a second example about more versus increased. Let's say that you have a character who's dealing physical damage, and you also run, as a result of this, you run hatred, and you run increased fire damage to uh, maximize the amount of damage you're dealing. Now, let's say you have 100 base damage, and after we've added up all of our passives and gear and blah, 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 you're going to have 185% increased physical damage. Your auras and your support gems are going to be giving you 23 more cold and 36 more fire. So the first thing we're going to do, we've added up all of our increased modifiers. We're going to find the base damage as it is the result of our increased modifiers. So in this case, we have 185% increased damage. It's going to be times 2.85. We're assuming that we're doing 100 damage base, so it's going to give us 285 damage. The next step is we're going to find just the cold damage and just the fire damage, because I like to be really thorough and I want to know exactly what numbers I'm dealing uh, individually, and then when I want to start talking about the when I want to start talking about the total amount of damage done, I can just add it up, and it's easier for me to have more complete data that way. And a lot of people would actually like to approach this differently. There are other ways to approach it, but I'm just covering the way I like to do it. First thing we're going to do is going to find our cold damage. Our 285 damage, as the result of our increased modifiers for physical damage, is going to 23% of that is going to be t our, our base number 285 times the 0.23, giving us 65.55. And then we're going to do the exact same thing mm -hmm. with our fire damage, giving us 102.6. That's 36% of 285. Then, finally, I'm going to be adding it all together, and that's going to be giving me 453.15 damage. As a recap, you want to add, you want to find your base number. Actually, we can do this with a visual. Ah. I like Google Docs, in case you hadn't noticed. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is gonna find your base number. The second thing you're gonna do is gonna add up all increased modifiers. The third thing you're gonna do is multiply the base number by the increased total, and then finally you're going to apply all modifiers that are listed as more. This has been uh, a brief explanation of how the game handles increase versus more and how to do some of the percentile math you're going to need to do in order to start number crunching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. I know this is a lot of basic stuff, so a lot of people who are going to be watching this video already know this, but I wanted to get this out there for those who didn't know, so then I can get into the more advanced stuff later on, and I can actually just reference my own videos and examples. It's a lot easier for me as, uh, as me. And considering that's all I can be, it's a pretty good thing to make it easier to be as, I suppose. Anyways, please don't forget to comment, subscribe if you have any questions, if you'd like to see videos done on any particular kind of uh, theory craft or whatnot, if you if you want to see uh, how I might tackle building a particular build, what I think of a particular mechanic, blah, blah, blah. Please don't be afraid to drop a request to me. You can contact me through my YouTube. Leave me a message there. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Evil Squeegee, and I'll catch you next time.